Welcome back to Duda Dojo with Rival Mind, where we teach you all things Duda. I'm Harley Helmer. Today is part two of our three-part series covering the Duda blog system. In this video, we teach you what the blog layout is, its dynamic capabilities, and a few tips and tricks to improve your blogs. Let's jump in. So the first thing you'll notice is I'm right in the back end of my Duda system. I've chosen a website that I want to go ahead and modify the blog layout on. So we're going to go ahead and go over to our blog menu and we're going to click edit layout right here. Now let's stop and talk about what the blog layout is. If you're unfamiliar, the blog layout basically is a dynamic template for any time you want to edit the look and layout of all of your posts. So every single post in the blog system will be formatted the same way. Currently you can see I've got this background image here with a post title, post author, publish date. I've got a little bit of a uh, subtext and paragraph text formulated. And then the layout itself, I have uh, some share links and then related posts. And then lastly is a kind of a footer uh, quote called action. So the first thing that you'll notice is that anything that is uh, dynamic, so that'll be anything that's dynamic will be unique to each post. Um, it's gonna be grayed out and it's gonna be connected to data. So if I have a background image or a header image for my post, uh, it's gonna be pulled in based on this connected to data symbol for this row. So basically the Duda system is dynamically saying, hey, whatever the featured images for this post is, pull it into the background on this section. And then similarly, the post type Title, post author and publish date are all connected to data. So whatever you assign as your post title, the post author and publish date will all be dynamically pulled in. So these are going to be unique to each individual post. Moving down, you're also going to notice that the placeholder text and information is grayed out for this section. This is where the unique text in your article is going to go. And then moving down into some other sections that are not grayed out. So every blog article on your system will have the share link in this position, in this order, and related posts. Now, these related posts obviously will change as you update new related posts or new posts in your system. It's gonna release them in chronological order, uh, but it's always going to have two related posts in this manner at the bottom of your blog. And then it's always going to have, every blog article is going to have this section with this verbiage and this link. So with the blog layout, we can define static elements on every blog to show up in the same way. So maybe you do want your related articles to show up on every blog as a way for people to dig deeper into your website. Maybe you'd like to add some additional categories on the right hand side. If you're planning on putting out several blog articles and you can categorize them, you can actually build a really nifty category tool, which we'll actually dive into in the next video, part three, but we'll show you how to add that here. And then lastly, maybe you just don't like the way that your Duda template looks, or maybe the person that built and designed your website, you're just not a fan of it anymore and you want to update it. So I'm going to go through a couple ways to make this more my style. So the first thing I'm going to do is change how my header looks for all of my blogs. So the first thing I want to do is actually include an image to the right of every post and get rid of the background image. So the first thing I'm going to do is add another column in this row. So now I will always have a column on the right and a column on the left that displays my post title, author, and publish date. And then I can go ahead from here and just go to my widget menu, grab an image and set it. Now from here, it doesn't matter what image you put because this is what you're going to connect to data to pull in the final background image. So I'm just going to select a simple one and then I'm going to modify it to make sure that it fits the way I want it to fit. So I actually want this image to be a little bit smaller and I want it to be a little bit above the post. And then, so I can actually just pull my post title down so it's centered. And then let's say I want to make that even smaller. So now what I can do is shrink up my header. So now I've got an image, I've got my post title and date, and you can actually start to see some of the blog text. The only thing that's in the way right now is this background image. So what we're going to do is right click on our row, 
we're gonna to go to change connection because right now it's connected to data. The background of this row is pulling in the post background image. We don't want it to pull in any image. So we're gonna unconnect it from data, hit done. And we still have a display image back there. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that by going to edit design. We're going to remove this image in the background. And then you'll notice that because we removed our image, our post title and everything needs to change from a design standpoint to make them easier to read. So we'll go ahead and throw in some black coloring, which makes it really stand out. Now, from here, these two widgets are still connected to data, so they're gonna dynamically pull in my post. What you will notice though, is that this image is not connected to data yet, so it's static. It's always going to show the image of this Volkswagen and this house. So in order to connect it to data, we need to right click, go down our image menu to connect to data, and then we need to select connecting the image to a specific data point, which we're gonna reutilize that post background image. And now whatever image we set as the featured post image or the post main image in the system is going to automatically take this place. So we've changed our heading, we've added an image, we've connected this to data to pull in all the right correct information. Now I want to add some categories. So in this row, because I want these to be column left, column right with the categories on the right hand side, I'm going to go ahead and add another column. And in this column, I'm going to go ahead and add a text widget because the first thing I want to do is add a header called categories. And then we're going to change that to an H2 because I like the way that looks. Then after that, it's just simply about modifying how you want your blog post to be laid out versus the category. So I don't want an equal 50-50 split because that would make my blog post really, really skinny on the left-hand side. So I'm gonna actually shove over my categories layout to give a little bit more room for my blogs. So from here, I can just go ahead and start adding additional text widgets and then link them to other pages on my website. And then we'll talk about how to actually fill in additional categories uh, after in our next video. So we'll go ahead and add another text widget below this one and I'll put in one additional category uh, just to show you what it might look like. So we're gonna do roofing. So now we know blogs related to roofing could be found at this. And so we'll create a page called roofing. We'll pull in pages or blog articles that are tagged roofing in the tagging system and we'll link them here. So now on every blog, I'm going to pull in the related post title, the post author, publish date, the featured image for that blog. We're going to have all the blog content that you write, which is really helpful. And then we're going to have some categories listed on the right hand side. Uh, we're going to go ahead and leave the featured post. We'll dig into that in the next video, but let's preview this guy. You can see it looks pretty clean now. We'll go back and now that we are done, we're going to hit done. We'll take this guy and we'll preview one of our other blogs that we have and see how it's changed the layout. So you can see we've got the rules of roof maintenance. We've got this image over here on the right hand side, which we may want to change that image later. And then you can see how we've got some additional text, another image, some more blog content, and then our categories. So that is in essence, what the blog layout is, how you modify it, some tips and tricks on making your blog look even better. And that's it. Now you've got a great piece of content and all of your blogs look great. So thanks so much for joining us. Part one of this series linked in the description covers how to create a new blog article. Stay tuned for part three, where we teach you how to tag and categorize your blogs. If you're looking for other Duda tutorials, visit our channel below to view our library and leave us a comment about future Duda tutorials you'd like to see. I'm Harley, this is Duda Dojo, we'll see you next time.